Welcome to FNN Feminist News Network for the feminist news and the feminists in you. So today I would like to talk about Kathleen Nixon running for governor against Cuomo in New York. Yay! Happy to say it. She was giving some powerful speeches back during the summer. And I knew that was maybe a precursor to something. But this awesome. Glad to see it. Why? Because we need it. Too many CIA operatives running for office. Too many non-progressives running for office. We need a real change. We need to shake up that Democratic Party and make it act right. And if we can't, we need to break it off and do something better. Or maybe build up the Green Party and make them a significant party. Who knows? We got to do this. And it needs to be done now with people like Cynthia Nixon running for office. Let's take a look at Cynthia's uh, campaign ad and then we'll talk. The actress Cynthia Nixon has officially entered the race for governor of New York. She'll be challenging New York Governor Andrew Cuomo in the Democratic primary later this year. New York is my home. I know. I've never lived anywhere else. When I grew up here, it was just my mom and me in a one-bedroom fifth floor walk-off. New York is where I was raised and where I know the most is. I'm a proud public school graduate and a prouder public school parent. I was given chances I just don't see for most of New York's kids today. Our leaders are letting us down. We are now the most unequal state in the entire country, with both incredible wealth and extreme poverty. Half the kids in our upstate cities live below the poverty line. How did you let this happen? I love New York. I've never wanted to live anywhere else, but something has to change. We want our government to work again on health care, ending mass incarceration, fixing our broken subway. We are sick of politicians who care more about headlines and power than they do about us. It can't just be business as usual anymore. If we're going to get at the root problem of inequity, we have to turn the system upside down. We have to go out ourselves and seize it. This is a time to stick our necks out, to remember where we came from. This is a time to be visible. This is a time to fight. I'm Cynthia Nixon. I'm a New Yorker. And together, we can win this fight. Wow. Powerful. Love it. She shows her family. She's not afraid. She wants to end the corruption. She takes acknowledgement of helping the poor and least among us with acknowledging the wealth that we have to be able to handle taking care of that and still have enough left over in our wallets to go on fancy sprees and fashion week. That girl's got it going on. And she'll make a awesome governor. Just like the run that uh, <clears throat> Chelsea Manning is doing up in in uh, Boston or Maryland. Maryland, I believe. Just like the run he's doing up there. I commend both of them. I'm for both of them. I would love to see both win. Because these are some strong, strong progressives that are new in the race with name recognition. Before somebody ran, who are they? Doctor who? N Nancy who? Nurse who? Look, these people can make it. As long as the players in place at the Democratic DCCC in DC get it together and not try to squash, step on, 
or destroy this woman. They need to play fair and they need to play right. And as long as we hold them accountable, they should be. And after the lawsuit with the voting rigging that was going on in New York, these voting districts and polls need to be put on alert. People signing and registering to vote need to put themselves on alert to double check and make sure you're registered so your vote can count in this important election to get Cynthia Nixon hired and, and elected. And make sure you go to your neighborhood board meetings, your, your electoral board meetings, your voting board meetings, whatever they're called. We need to get empowered. We, because Cynthia, she shouldn't even have to canvass. We already know she's gonna do well. She's gonna do right if you paid attention and heard her fight. So let's get behind Cynthia. Let's stay on top of the the people that rigged the election last year. Let's get an understanding now where these voting polls and booths and places are going to be and get an understanding now on writing up uh, the new bills and measures to do paper ballots within the state. Go ahead and get that petition written so we can make sure this election is fair and done right because Cuomo is going to fight. He's going to use every dirty trick that he's been using. For the last few years, he's going to use those with this one. Believe that. So, if you like what you're hearing, you want to join the fight, contact me. Subscribe. Feministnewsn at gmail.com and I'll send you a PayPal link. Contact me on Facebook. Send you a PayPal link. And check it out. Because it's the type of news you can use. And I'm currently looking for reporters. If you want to get out your feminist news and let me do it up and put you out there, contact me. We'll get you on FNN, Feminist News Network, for the feminists in you.